folks, welcome to Guitar Daily. My name's Nick Granville, I post every day on YouTube in this channel. Um, and uh, there's guitar stuff, music stuff, general stuff like that. Um, my life as a session musician, as a working musician and recording artist. Um, so today I thought I'd answer a question. Um, we had Simon Williams, um, a friend of the channel, somebody I've met a few times. Um, he had a question about the harmonic minor. So I thought I'd discuss that today, because harmonic minor is one of those ones that a lot of people don't really understand or use. Um, so in this case, I thought I'd use the song Caravan, which is what I was just playing a moment ago as, as an example. It's a good example. So if we look at Caravan, essentially it's a C7 chord, right? In this case, C7 sharp 5. Oh, sharp 9, I should say. C7 sharp 9 is essentially what it is. Right? And it kind of goes between D flat, diminished, and C7. But it's really C7 sharp 9. And it sits there for a while. A lot of people think the song is in C, but it's really not. It's an F minor, isn't it? It's the 5 chord to the 1. But it sits on the 5 chord for quite a while, right? And really, we're, we're in a minor key, aren't we? If we were to have a 2 chord, it would be a G minor 7 flat 5. We don't, but a minor 2 5, right? It's just 5, 1. Right, so if we've established that, the, the, the kind of blanket scale, if you will, the scale that works over a minor 2, 5, 1 is the harmonic minor. So an F would be an F harmonic minor. So basically it's an Aeolian mode, if you want to think of it that way. No, I didn't say alien mode. <laughs> um, Aeolian mode. But we have a major 7th to make it the harmonic minor. Really, it's like a minor major seven sound. That sound. All right, so we go one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, natural seven. Of course, you want to know that across the neck. with all the positions and shapes. Now the thing with this scale that's interesting is you have with that major third, major seventh I should say, becomes the third of the five chord. And that's one of the key reasons this works so well over that five to, to one movement that we have five to minor one. It's because we have that major third in there. We have the flat nine relation to the C, so we have the root note, we have the flat 9 in relation to the C, we have a, the 3rd, the 4th, well that's not such a great note, but it's okay, we have the 5th, that's great, we have the raised 5th, or flat 6, so that's a good note to have, flat 7, and back to the root, so all the notes are good against that, and on the minor chord, it's really implying minor major 7, alright, so a good shape to have is this, Now, I realize I'm going over the stuff quickly. Beautiful thing of YouTube is you can slow it down um, to 75% speed and just go over it. And you can rewind and pause and go over bits until you catch it, right? It's a really great shape for that first chord of, of Caravan, right? And this can happen anytime you have a minor 2, 5, 1. Um, can be a great scale to use over that. Um, an example could be, I don't know, something like Blue Bossa. And then here it goes. D minor 7 flat 5, G7 to C minor. So C harmonic minor. Kind of implies that. Definitely 
definitely fits that and fits that. Right, so that's the harmonic minor. It's a really good one over minor two five ones, which minor two five ones are quite difficult for people to start playing over. Um, I find autumn leaves. I've ta taught on a lot of workshops and stuff. Autumn leaves is a tune that's used as a beginner tune, but it's really not. You've got that minor two five one in there, which makes it difficult. But hopefully, if you you understand how the harmonic minor works, you can use that as a starting point. Now, better yet, learn to play chord changes. But this is a starting point. But in terms of a tune like Caravan, you don't need a starting point. There's no two five one. It's just five, and it sits there for ages. So you've got time to to develop it. So I think the harmonic minor and F if harmonic minor over the C is is a really good place to go. So try that on the tune Caravan. I'll link the the um, backing track that I used at the beginning below. Um, yeah, if you like this video, please share it with people who are into the same sort of stuff. As I said, I post every day on here. So share it with fellow guitar players and musicians, and um, hopefully we can build more of a community around this all, because we all learn from each other. You know, I see people's comments, and they provide some useful information. Um, sometimes not so useful information, you know, when people have uh, seen some weird ones where people are uh, discussing my clothing, don't know why, or all kinds of randomness, but hey, welcome to the internet. But otherwise, generally, the comment section is really useful. Like, people are offering up, um, you know, when I talked about the picking thing the other day, about picking here and here, I didn't discuss about using the side of the pick. And someone came in with a comment about that, which was really useful to some people, I think. Um, I was more focused on where you're picking, you know, in terms of timbre. So anyway, if we can, can build this community, then we can all learn from each other. That's what I'm hoping it'll turn into. Um, yeah, and um, I'm, I really appreciate you tuning in and listening um, and um, engaging with all this stuff. So leave a comment below if there's something you want to know. Um, yeah, I'm happy to cover it. Thanks very much. See you tomorrow. Cheers.